Happy to welcome Daryl Scott and Casey Dreesen here in Studio B. Uh, you guys ready to play one? You look yeah, like y'all. Let's you are. do it. All let's right. Do it. Let's do it. Well, I woke up today and found the frost perched on the town. It hovered in a frozen sky and gobbled summer down. When the leaves turn traitor cold, shivering trees are standing in a naked room. But I get the urge for going, but I never seem to go. Well, I had me a girl in summertime with summer-colored skin And not another man in town my darling's heart could win But when the leaves came trembling down and bully winds did rub their faces in the snow to let her go and she got the edge for going when the meadow grass was turning brown and summertime was falling down down and winter's closed it in Give their cold triumphant shout And all that stays is dying And all that lives is getting out Well, you see those geese in chevron flight Flopping and racing on Before the snow Well, they've got the urge for going And they've got the wings to go Blankets to my chin. I'll lock the vagrant winter out and I'll bolt my wandering in. I'd like to call back summertime and have her stay for just another month or so. But she's got the urge for going and I'm gonna have to let her go. is turning brown and summertime is falling down and winter is closing in and I get the urge for going with the summer grass is turning brown and all the empires have fallen Daryl Scott, Casey Dreesen here on WNCW. That song's so appropriate to start with on multiple levels here. In Many Studio levels, B. right? Yeah, so great to have you back. <clears throat> Excuse me, I was sitting here thinking, the older I get being a radio host, my voice gets worse, and yours just seems to get better every year. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't, yeah, I don't understand. It's not like I pamper myself. <laughs> uh, I, 
Uh, but um, yeah, so far so good, man. Yeah, it is cool to have you back and just pop right out there with a classic. You could do that all day long, couldn't you? Yeah, that's a great Joni Mitchell song, that one. Um, yeah. And uh, I thought, you know, it is warmer out there. It's no, It would be even better if it were like 22 degrees outside. But on a nice day like this, it's still a change of season. We can feel it out there. It's yeah. A, it's in the air. Oh, yeah. You enjoy today. Uh, folks who are outdoors, you definitely enjoy today. But hang on because it's, you know. Yeah, we know it's coming. Yeah. 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 But the holidays are coming, too, and that's cool. You guys are at the Orange Peel tonight yes. in Asheville. And uh, do you have some others with you? Yeah, we have Bryn Davies on Upright Bass, uh, who's joining us. And uh, so we're a trio tonight out at the Orange Peel. And it's such a pleasure to play with my friend Casey Dreesen, who lives in the Asheville area. He's an Asheville cat. Yeah. You've heard of Nashville cats, so he's an Asheville <laughs> no, I'm cat. An Asheville cat. Yeah. yeah. Looking at him, he just kind of defines Asheville Cat to me. Oh, do I? Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> man. Yeah. Anybody look at you and go, he's from Asheville. All I'll right. Bet, I'll bet you anything. Uh -huh. I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, let's see, I was looking at your tour schedule. You're headed down to Texas after you play up here next week, right? Yeah, we finished the year. It's You know, it's funny. We had the lockdown that we all know about so uh, far too well. And uh, But then once we could start playing again, I just kind of put my head down and said, man, I'll take, we'll work on and on. And so it's been six months of kind of really roadworthy uh, stuff. And uh, we have uh, one more weekend next weekend in Texas. And otherwise, uh, I'm glad to be here in Asheville. This is yeah. one of my favorite, you know, places to play. Uh, and a big part of it actually is WNCW. Well, you thank know, you. That you play the music. Uh, you know, that won't get played in a whole lot of other places by comparison. You know, you guys are always, you've always been in my corner. I appreciate that. We were starving for the live music as much as you guys were starving right. to play it last year, man. And here we are in Studio B. Again. All this time. Yeah, and I, I got to host you last time you were here. What, it's, I guess it's been close to two years ago now. Right, when we could actually do those things. Yeah. And here we are again. And we had a great time then. I still talk about it when I play your songs. You know, oh, good, remember man. when Daryl was here last time? You know, that kind of stuff. Great. Uh, but yeah, and uh, still enjoy. I love the Hank Williams album, that the Hank Williams Blues. Thank you. Yeah, that was a fun project. That I put out two records during pandemic or the lockdown. We're still in pandemic, in yeah. fact. But during the lockdown of 2020, and and the Hank record uh, uh, was the first first of that. What was the inspiration for you to do that one? You know, honestly, I I grew up on Hank. Uh, my dad tried to sing like Hank. He tried to write like Hank. Uh, and I guess we, his sons, were meant to try to play like Hank's band a little bit. That never exactly happened, but that influence was sitting there. So I, I know the Hank catalog, you know, really, really well. You and picked I some was, great songs for that record. Yeah, yeah. There's, you know, the B and C list songs. I mean, not... You know, mm -hmm. Hey, Good Lookin' and Jambalaya and stuff. Great stuff, but I, I know the odd songs. And, and so I wanted to gather up, you know, the not-so-known Hank songs. And also the ones that would hold up to what I considered was my version of throwing some blues at Hank. Because Hank is blues. Oh, yeah. As well as certainly country and honky-tonkish or... You know, no one ever refers to Hank as a singer-songwriter, but if, if he's not a singer-songwriter, I don't know what is. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. You're, you're right. Uh, and then there was the album, and I probably mispronounce it, Americanized Jeroso. Uh, yeah, Jeroso, maybe. Jeroso. I, and I've heard Jeroso. So I, uh, maybe the Spanish, you could tell us, Casey, is a, is a J? What's it's, a J? Uh, well, it be like, uh, well, Jeroso. Yeah, Jeroso. Yeah, yeah. Jeroso. Jeroso. Because I know from the text messages, when people laugh, they write J-A-J-A-J-A, -A -A -A, which is ha-ha-ha. <laughs> right, 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 right. And I took Spanish in high school, can't speak it fluently, but I know that, uh, let's see, the J in the alphabet is Hota. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. yeah right. And, H sound. and Casey lived in uh, Spain. We just got him back last year, but he was living in Spain for six years. Yep. And we just got him back, you know, to uh, the U.S. and Asheville specifically. So... He's my Spanish uh, interpreter, <laughs> right? Take <laughs> what you can get. Yeah. And just as much, playing just as much over there probably as he would here, right? Yeah. I was playing a lot over there. I was also teaching a ton. I uh, was running a music program with a bunch of musicians from, you know, around the world. It was pretty exciting. All right. 